good afternoon today we are to see preamble fundamental rights and fundamental duties this one is from the constitution of india which was adopted by the government of india on 26 january 1950 at the time of its adoption it contained 395 articles and five schedules for eight schedules the focus of the chapter apart from the preamble is on the rights and duties of an indian citizen contained in part 3 and part 4 of the constitution the constitution of india is approximately about 145000 words long and was framed after debates and sessions spread over about a period of 3 years it was at the time of its adoption the longest constitution in the world the preamble serves as an introduction to the constitution of india and creates awareness of the basic rights and duties of every citizen of the country as citizens we are entitled to certain rights such as right to freedom of speech freedom of practice and faith etc and article 12 to 35 outline the extent of these freedoms and which and what each of them implies in addition as citizens there are several civic duties that we are expected to perform such as abiding by the constitution and valuing our nation's cultural heritage thus in order for us to be better citizens it is imperative that we be aware of our fundamental rights and civic duties this one is the par first paragraph where we have the outline information about the text what is given there or about the text and then after we have to look forward to the preamble then our rights that is the fundamental right right to equality then after right to equality right to freedom right to speech then we have right to freedom to religion right against exploitation cultural and educational rights right of to the constitutional remedies fundamental duties such things are here in our prose preamble fundamental rights and fundamental duties okay come to the point we the people of india having solemnly resolved the constituent india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thoughts expression belief faith and worship equality of status that of opportunity and to promote among them the fraternity 
assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26 day of november 1949 hereby adopt an act and give to ourselves this constitution then what are fundamental rights fundamental rights is related to citizenship is related to general then uh, right to equality such things are there in the fundamental rights citizenship at the commencement of the constitution at the commencement of this constitution every person who has his domicile domicile in the territory of india and who was born in the territory of india or either or whose parents was born in the territory of india who has been ordinarily resident in the territory of india from not for not less than 5 years immediately preceding such commencement shall be a citizen of india who can become the citizen of india a person can become a claim to be a citizen of india who was born in the territory of india or whose parents are was born in the territory of india or who has been ordinarily resident in the territory of india for not less than 5 years immediately preceding such commencement he or she shall be a citizen of india these are the general or the minimum requirements uh, to be a citizen of india then what is there in general in this part unless the context otherwise requires the state includes the government and the pa parliament of india and the government and the legislature of each of the states and all local and other authorities within the territory of india or under the control of the government of india laws inconsistent with the with or in derogation of the fundamental rights all the laws in force in the territory of india immediately before the commencement of this constitution is so far as they are in consistent or with the provisions of this part shall to to the extent of such inconsistency be white the state shall not make any law which takes away or abridge the rights conferred by the part and way any law made in the contra contra contravention of this clause shall to the extent of the contravention be white in this article unless the context otherwise requires law include any ordinance order by law rule regulation notification custom or usage having in the territory of india the force of law the laws in force includes laws passed or made by the legislature or other competent authority in the territory of india before the commencement of this constitution and not previously repeated not with standing that any such law or any part thereof may not be there in operation either at all or in particular areas nothing in this article shall apply to any amendment of this constitution made under the article 368 this is the information in general about the our fundamental rights where we have laws inconsistent with the with or in the in derogation of the fundamental rights 
all the laws in force in the territory of India immediately before the commencement of this constitution, in so far as they are inconsistent with the provisions of this part, shall to the extent of such inconsistency be white. The state shall not make any law which takes away or abridges the rights conferred by this part and any law made in the contravention of this clause shall to the extent of the contravention be white. In this article, unless the context otherwise requires law includes any ordinance order by law rule, regulation, notification, custom or usage having in the territory of India the force of law, the laws in force includes laws passed or made by the legislature or other competent authority in the territory of India. Before the commencement of this constitution and not previously repeated, notwithstanding that any such law or any part thereof may not be then in operation either at all or in particular areas. Nothing in this article shall